Greetings, and welcome back to Orchestra U. Thank you for joining us. My name is Brennan Sweet. I am the Associate Concertmaster of New Jersey Symphony Orchestra. And for today, my mission is to help you achieve warp speed in your practicing of Klinka's Overture. In order to do this, uh, we will require the use of a temporal measuring device, which is actually a metronome. I think it's very important to find a metronome that you like using. For me, that comes down to the sound of the metronome. I like this little metronome. It has a sound like this. That's okay, I can work with that sound. There are other metronomes uh, like this one, a big metronome. It does a lot of great stuff, but not totally necessary for this purpose. You can find an app like Pro Metronome, uh, a wonderful metronome uh, that's available for both Android and iOS devices, whether uh, phones or tablets. Find one that has that combination of usability and sound that you really feel like you can work with. This will be your most important tool uh, to work up your tempo to performance speed. Okay, now you have your metronome in place. What do we do? The first step really is to establish your baseline. Uh, what is the tempo at which you can play the entire excerpt, or actually the entire piece, without having to stop, without having trouble, uh, without missing notes and things like this? Find what that is. How can we find that tempo? Uh, my basic rule of thumb is just start at half tempo. So here we have uh, the tempo uh, of this piece, uh, which is I have over here uh, 138. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's somewhere around there. Uh, and it should sound like this at performance tempo. Ready? And. What we can do to get to half tempo is, um, instead of uh, doing one click for each half note, we can think of one click for each quarter note, and that will give us half tempo, like this. Okay, very good. That may still be too fast, however. So uh, you can experiment. Start getting the tempo lower and lower and lower until you get to a tempo at which you really can play the whole thing. But now you're at that tempo. If you've noticed, there are a few trouble spots that, uh, for instance, a shift or, or just some combination of notes, you can zoom in on that and just work on those particular chunks. And what I like to do is work near the end of an excerpt and work my way towards the beginning of an excerpt. That way, um, then when you begin the excerpt, through all these repetitions, you will feel more and more familiar as you go. So let's take a, a, a tricky spot like this. Ready, and. You can just do that a few times. Ready, and. And then back up to the previous measure. Put those two together. I like to call this Lego technique because it's like you break it down into little pieces like Legos and then you assemble them back into the piece that you're trying to play. Then you can add an extra measure. and so on and so on, working your way back. In that process, you will be rep repeating these measures many, many times, so that by the time you get to the beginning of your excerpt, uh, the effect will be you will feel more and more familiar uh, with the notes as you play it. You'll feel more and more confident as you progress through the excerpt or the piece. Once you get to this point where you establish your baseline, then you can just begin uh, uh, working on it incrementally. Start gradually increasing the tempo of the entire excerpt by five beats per minute until with all this repetition, you eventually achieve 
the final tempo. And there you have it. It's not really rocket science, it's just time, repetition, and using your trusty metronome. Good luck, be well, see you next time.